Okay. Now, ladies and gentlemen, we talked about how you have the how these transfer, how these work to each other. The log of b to the x equals y. What does this even mean? That just means b raised to the y power equals x. Okay. And just notice what we call this in a logarithm. We call this is your base, your b. So it's log of x base b. And notice in the exponent, what does b represent? The base again. Okay. So then my y over here, and then you have the x. Okay, so ladies and gentlemen, all I'm going to ask you to do is convert from exponential to logarithmic. That's it. So we have here, if I want to write this in exponential form, we know what our base is, right? Our base of our exponent is what? 15. 15. So I'm going to write log base 15. I always like to do that first because I think it sometimes gets confusing. But if I can always remember, base equals the base. Base always equals the base. Base of a logarithm is equal to the base of the exponent, right? So I have base 15. Then you can say your x is going to equal, so 15, 3,375 equals 3. So 15 to the third power equals 3,375. Yes? 3,375? It's just a plain number. Because you're multiplying, you mean you're. We're going to talk about evaluating in a second. We'll talk actually more about that um, when Dustin has this stuff written down. We'll talk more about that in a second. But all I want you guys to understand is just going back through one function, one form to the other. Yes, Dustin? Okay, this right now is not the time to go through it. Okay.